Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off campus opportunity, and this one is with ZS. So, if you don't know by now, ZS is hiring for freshers right now. So, this is a great opportunity for all of you people that are looking for your first job. So, in this video, we'll be talking more about the role, we'll be talking about the eligibility, and I'm going to give you guys tips and resources on how to crack this role. So, everything that you need for this is going to be within this video. So, make sure to watch the complete video and then apply ASAP. The link to apply is going to be in the description box. And it is open right now, but we cannot say how long it's going to stay open. So always try to be one of the early applicants and try to apply before it closes, basically. Okay. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, if you keep on applying everywhere, but you're not getting a call back anywhere, you're not getting shortlisted anywhere, or you don't know how to prepare for your dream company, you don't know how to prepare DSA, you don't know how to prepare development or projects, or any other sort of issues you're facing in your placement journey, then you can connect one to one with me. And I'll personally help you guide you, mentor you, and make sure that you get to know exactly what you need to do so that you are able to crack your dream company. So you can connect 21 with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box. All right, coming back to this opportunity, like I said, ZS is hiring for freshers. So let's talk a bit about the role before we go into the eligibility, right? And the role here is pretty great, actually. So let's talk about the role. The name of the role is Decision Analytics Associate, okay? DA for short basically so the rest DA role this is decision analytics associate now don't get confused by the name it is a tech role it is a good role and it has a great package as well okay so if you take a look at the fresher packages this one is probably on the higher end with a package of around 8 to 11 LP you know it can vary but generally around 9 to 10 or 9 to 11 LP is basically what they offer to freshers okay so the role is pretty great pretty decent of course you can have a great career starting off at this role in zs okay and the role is tech the role is tech related it's not a non-tech role it is an analytics role okay just to be clear on that part okay so before we go into the sort of skills and all things you need let's talk about the eligibility for a bit okay so the eligibility is you need to have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree that is what they've mentioned apart from that you can have zero to three years of experience so they have mentioned up to three years of experience that means that zero to three years of experience and like i already tell you guys as i've already told you guys whenever you see zero to two zero to three zero to four zero is inclusive so if you're a 25 grad you have no experience you can still apply if you're a 24 grad you can apply if you're 23 grad you can apply so 2025 and before you guys are eligible for this and i highly recommend that you guys give this a shot and that you guys apply for it okay so that is pretty much the eligibility now if we talk about the skills that they're looking for so they have mentioned proper you know basic technical things like they mentioned programming skills like java etc a few programming languages they mentioned they mentioned analytics items so just basic things they've given for skills nothing too particular nothing too specific they've given general things they've given okay so you know whatever they've given i'll list them down in the description box you can have a look at them nothing too specific to make an entire list about but i'll still make a list so you guys can just see the skills that they're expecting from you okay so this is about the eligibility and the things that they're looking for and the rule now let's talk about how to crack this role okay so like i already said it is a good role i have people who i know working at this company i know uh, at this role right i know people who have cracked this role recently so it is a great role now first thing let's talk about the interview process how it's going to be like so the interview process is going to be a bit different from the other technical things that you might have seen it is going to be a bit different so it's going to start with you know aptitude you're gonna have aptitude you're gonna have an assessment so make sure that you brush up your aptitude okay because here you're gonna have aptitude now i've made entire videos about what to do for aptitude how to prepare for aptitude whatever resources i have i'll put it in the description box and you guys can prepare aptitude accordingly now apart from aptitude one thing that is very important and that you don't see a lot of companies asking are going to be business related questions and case studies okay so apart from other things you're gonna have one case study so they're going to give you a case study. I'll send you examples in the description box. I'll put some examples in the description box. So they'll give you a case study of a company or of a shop. And then they're going to ask you questions based on that. So that is going to be there. Of course, remember the rule. It has analytics in it, right? So you're going to have case study related questions. And apart from that, you're going to have guesstimates. You're going to have guesstimates. You're going to have on the spot questions. 
So you might be asked questions which don't have a specific answer. They might be asking you questions like, how many people are traveling in a bus right now? How many people are wearing this color right now? Or how many people are in this state, in this city? So you're going to have to express your way of thinking. That's going to be more important. And of course, you can just read about guest teammates. You can search how to prepare for them. But these are the questions that you can expect. Okay. So, you know, that, that quote, Ki expect the unexpected, that is something that you can take to your heart for these interviews okay so apart from that you'll have quizzes you'll have problem solving under pressure you'll have a good discussion about your resume whatever you have in your resume 110 percent they're gonna be asking you a lot of questions on that they're gonna be asking you questions about your projects they're gonna be asking questions about your internships if you have any they'll be asking questions about your work experience if you have any again it's not mandatory if you have they'll ask questions so prepare your resume well and apart from all of this, I'll give you guys some interview experiences also in the description box of people who have previously cracked this company. So you can go through them as well. And then again, you'll get a good idea about how the interview process is going to be like so that you're prepared accordingly. Okay. So again, it's a great role. I highly recommend all of you guys that are eligible. Make sure that you apply for it. Make sure that you guys try for it. All of the resources and the other details are going to be in the description box. So have a look at it before you sign off this video. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's not make this video any longer than it needs to be. I've been rambling on for quite some time now. But if you're a fresher or a college student looking for a job right now, make sure that you subscribe because I'll be bringing you guys a lot more opportunities in the future. And the next quarter will be a good quarter for you guys. You're going to have a lot of companies hiring. So just keep preparing, keep applying, watch out for these openings and be one of the early applicants. And yeah, let's see you guys in the next video.